For my brother, Tiny. Give me all your raw impressions, your thoughts, your words, your time. It's all about communication. Yeah, speak your mind. Give me your... That's right, people. Raw Impressions, number 64. Have you heard the news? Have you heard the good news? Raw Impressions has been nominated for five, five Pammies. <laughs> They've been invited to the Pammy Awards in Las Vegas next week, hosted by Mark Marin. Ron Pressions is in the running for five different categories. Best Music Related Podcast. Best Sound Design or Podcast. <laughs> that has a lot to do with me. <laughs> for Track Man. Best Family Podcast. <gasps> Which surprises me considering how filthy you got <laughs> who can be. <laughs> of course, the best freeform podcast. And the best new podcast. Y you are a new podcast after one year nominated for five Pammies. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Port Track Man is back. Oh, I'm so excited. With some big news. For the Pammies. I kind of didn't know about the that. The podcast Grammys? Yeah, surprise. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm psyched. I mean, it goes from like the Golden Globes to the Grammys to the Pammies. <laughs> the Grammys were last night and the Pammies are next week. It's hard for me. I, I have a cousin named Pam. Uh huh. So that's what I think of Pammy. Pam. Pam. Pam is a real 80s name for me. I feel like there was a lot of Pams running around in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I wish someone at our, at our progressive school. Would name their child Pam. <laughs> hey, it's little Pammy. No, that does, that's not going to... Oh. oh. It's not going to happen anytime soon. Oh. Um, now, realistically, you will win none of these. What? You are against some very heavy hitters. But it will be exciting <laughs> to be at the awards hosted by Mark Marin. Um, yes going to be great. Too bad you're not going to be around, Lou. Lou is going to be in Australia on tour with mm. Dinosaur Jr. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> A previous commitment. You could have never known that you would be nominated for a Pammy. <laughs> but you were. And Adele and I will be attending the Pammies <laughs> together. We're going to make the best of it, mm. aren't we, Adele? Mm. <laughs> you and me. <laughs> You and me in, in Vegas at the Pammies, and Lou 10,000 miles away. Um, anyway, isn't that exciting? <laughs> well, without further ado, I'm going to hand the mics over to the dynamic duo. <laughs> it's true, Australia is pretty far away. God, what am I going to wear? Ooh, I'm excited. I'm going to go swimming. Oh, you'll be swimming. I, and I might not go swimming. I don't know. No? Mm. In Australia, some of the beaches have beach mites. What's that? They're like these little mites that live in the sand and crawl up your legs and bite you along your belt line. Ouchie. Yeah. Your belt line? Yeah. <laughs> I, wore, I, wore, um, I wore some short... I was in Australia years ago. I've been there a couple of times. <laughs> and Yes, you have. I went swimming in my cutoffs with my belt on. Oh. Nice. Really, it was like, I don't know, up near Brisbane. Were those my old denim cutoffs? I don't know. Mm. This could have been before you, you graced my life. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but I went swimming in my cutoffs, and when I got back and took them off, there was a line of bites, like a, right around where my belt was. So oh. it's, it's as if the mites, had they climbed my legs, and then re got as far as the belt. They couldn't go any further, so they just 
uh, they set held up sh- hands and did a dance around your waist, and then they feasted upon me, and I just had like a little itchy ring, huh. not ring, worm, but I was bitten by mites around my waist. Have you seen the mites? They're tiny. Oh, which I I'm kind of thankful for because you don't want to see that. Do you don't want to like, like take off can, your. Do you just like swat your body when you're hanging no, out? I on just the beach? took a shower. You kind of didn't even notice. <laughs> I didn't even notice that that it happened until I took a shower. Mites. Mites. Mite bites. Sand can, mites. Can the Auss- Aussies please uh, weigh in on that? And that's interesting. You're like, so what? Another thing that bites you here? You're lucky it's just a little bite. Hmm. Well, the things that okay. live in Australia. Hmm. There's um, there's bats there, mm-hmm. bats, <laughs> the size of foxes. What? Flying in, in like just in formation. A bat? Right? Bats, huge. The size of a fox. Yes. They're Why called... did you pick a fox? Because they kind of look like foxes. The bat looks like a fox. Yes, it's a. It looks like Ooh, a flying that fox. That makes me feel nervous. Oh. They're kind of cute if you see them up close, but they're <gasps> huge. Holy shit. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> wow. Mm-hmm. What I okay? So I guess you're not coming with me to the Pammies, then, is what you're saying. I'm not. Oh, I'm so sad. I am too. Gosh, we're up for all these awards and everything, and it's so exciting for us to cap off such a where are we banner year and a half now with Pod Living, and you're not even going to be attending again, with me. This feels again, wrong. I'd like to point out that I've never heard of the Pammies. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. Mm. this trip to Australia was set in motion a long time ago. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little, I'm a little b- bewildered by the information. Well, I get to see who else is going to be in that hollowed space. Like, is this going to be in a convention center in Vegas? I don't know. I, I guess I have to attend with four track, man. I mean, it's just... You know, I gotta go. I gotta represent for raw impressions, right? I haven't seen like anything in our inbox, the raw impressions <laughs> podcast at gmail dot com. I haven't seen anything about oh, this, uh-huh. but I would imagine if it's we'll real, we'll be getting a notification. You'd real be getting soon. A, a notification in the PDF. Approximately five for our five five nominations. Yeah, my lucky number. So mm. great, we may sweep it. Just like uh, Boy Genius just swept the Grammys. You know, I saw Phoebe Bridgers just trying to juggle like five Grammys. So it's our turn next. Phoebe, (laughs) you're not the only one who's going to be juggling (laughs) Grammy noms and Grammys. Juggling those Pammies. I'll be having Pammies. It's Um, exciting. um, Would it be inappropriate for me to say that Pammy sounds like a word for breast? (laughs) Oh, I know what I'm thinking. Me and my of. pammies. <clears throat> I know what I've I'm thinking. I've never of. My, thought of that. I don't know if it'd be inappropriate. I just my I'm, ex I, my ex bandmate uh, Bob Fay. Uh huh. He said that people were known to refer to breasts as tammies. Tammies. Tammies, which I thought was pretty funny. <laughs> I kind of uh, like that. Tammies. Tammies out. So. I, yeah, I've never heard that. But then your brain, you went to Pammy. Hmm. Pam, Tam. Well, there's a reason for that that I'm going to have to edit out. Yeah, we're not going to, that's not going to make the final (laughs) cut. This is raw. This isn't rude. Oh, that's cool. I mean. That's right. It's Rude impressions. It's raw, but not rude. Yeah. I like that. I mean, I try not to be rude. That's good. That's kind of like the difference between stupid and dumb. Yeah. I think there's quite a difference, actually, yeah. between dumb and stupid. Mm-hmm. Stupid. <laughs> stupid just feels like you really fucked up. <laughs> that was really stupid of you. Like, there's just a, it's like this real scolding behind it. And dumb is kind of like, mm, okay, that was kind of dumb, but we'll move on better luck next time Um, this is an experience that you can learn from right (laughs) stupid is you've already learned and you did it again (laughs) you've already learned you went ahead anyway perhaps many times Uh but you went and did it again that's stupid you stupid (laughs) motherfucker. yeah (laughs) it's an aggression behind it dumb is Um, kind of like innocent i'm so relieved why that um you know, I, you know what I follow on Instagram? A lot of like healing. Well, I a lot of healing things. And a lot Snoop of, Dogg, who seems to post a lot. Snoop Dogg shits out the posts. Well, he's he's not actually there. He's just reposting, right? 
I don't he's think he's a heavy he, reposter. I don't think he necessarily Snoop, are you reposting? Or I could I bet it's, I bet it's a family account. member. I bet it's okay. a family member. I don't okay. know. But it's constant posting. Wow. From Snoop. It's so much so that when I first started to follow him, uh-huh. I did consider after the second day, like, this is too much. Uh-huh. This is too much. Yeah. And sometimes what he posts are like people getting hurt. And oh, I, yeah. yeah. But, and I was like, ah, I don't want to, because I don't like to see people get hurt. No, I don't either. But then it was just, it was just too entertaining. So I still follow him. Anyway. You, so let me just say this real quick. Okay. Before I've already forgot like, what I was yep, saying. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Nope. You didn't forget. I was saying that my, the healing. Yes. The healing posts that oh, I read. Uh-huh. The, the, the spiritual posts. Yeah. The self improvement. Yes. The little messages of self improvement. Because a book isn't enough. We gotta just now add. No, I've done the I've yep. done the books now. <clears throat> now I get it like just little little constant increments. feed. Yeah. You know I don't really call myself stupid anymore. Mm. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Do you think you used to call yourself? I stupid? I think I called myself stupid constantly. Oh. I think I was like always, and I think very mm. many mm. of you. Mm. could relate to this. I mean, like an almost constant, like, (coughs) (coughs) Oh, oh. That time he was in pickle. (laughs) I don't mean to interrupt. I just thought of something. (laughs) I wanted to tell you something occurred to me that Lou, Lou has been in show business. He's been an entertainer for over 30 years with some success, but after one year, one (laughs) year with you, Adele, for the podcast, (laughs) Pammy Noms, (laughs) five Pammy Noms, and I think it's interesting that Adele, you're here, Lou's been working hard for over 30 years himself, but the real when the real talent came, then the accolades, the accolades are pouring in. And it has... Okay, it's four mostly track, to man. do with you, now. <laughs> I just want you to remember that. Mm-hmm. Because Lou will... <laughs> he'll tend to start talking and talking. <laughs> and just soaking in the praise, but it's really... He's, he's I've never heard of the Pammies. It's been a long time. He's had a long, long series of ups and downs. And, and uh, you know, he's been waiting for this moment. But let's not forget, it has almost everything to do with you, Adele. <laughs> okay, we can stop discuss it. this further in Vegas. It will be no. my pleasure okay. to be celebrating you there. He's sounding rather pervy. <laughs> rather, rather pervy. I, to be honest, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gone after the after the um, after the walk through me debacle. Ah. Oh. Where he accused me of uh, stealing, stealing the, song the song from him. Yeah. Um. I could have. And dis- then he questioned why I was now, even with here, you. Here, was it <clears throat> stupid of me to invite him back on the podcast? <laughs> or was it dumb? Oh. Because I I mean all of this it's like I've it's it's happened before. Uh-huh. I kind of know his angle. I don't trust him. Okay. Um I don't like his tone. Um he, he you know like you said raw not rude. Mhm. And I think the way he's talking, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. It's st- I'd like it's- you to apologize to Tina Yothers. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna just go. You, Mister, Mister Self Help Meme here. Um, I think you, uh, I think you need to Sha-la-la-la. say something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Tina Yothers. I'm sorry, Tina. I didn't. Um, I was. Shooting my mouth off. That was stupid. That what exactly? Because I you can't speak I mean It's totally um That time is gone. You know where where it's entertaining yeah. to just sort of mm-hmm. tear other people down. You know, tear other people down to disparage them. 
Uh-huh. You have to lose word this week, you guys. Just the word FYI. for the week. Round the house. It's <laughs> he's disparaging. Really throwing that one around. I I actually <laughs> spelled it for the first time recently. Okay. <laughs> disparaging. In your journal. <laughs> <laughs> I've abandoned the disparaging self-talk. I, I Can I come back to that in all seriousness? <laughs> I do want to say... Wait, can I... Wait. I'm sorry, Tina Yeathers. Did I do it already? Oh, you, you can you can keep apologizing to her. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I, She's alive and well, by the way, and living, like, I didn't a great s- life. I did not say she was dead. Well, no. Well, we were... You were just saying that you weren't really, like, what's up? We don't need to re-say it, because then that would be rude. <clears throat> that would be stupid. What was the the woman in Different Strokes who fell on some hard times? Uh, Dana, somebody. Dana, Dana. Moving on. What else did you have to say? I don't. Okay. Um, <clears throat> wow. Sorry, my um. I think it sounded really loud there. You might have to soften that when you go into yeah whatever wherever that place is. You go and work your magic. Um, You're like three feet from. Hence here. why we're getting all these pammies next week. I know the sound design. Uh, that, that actually shocks me. Oh come on, you're you're the master. I love it. I mean, Jack Antonoff, watch out. Yeah, I don't know. Um, he was a winner last night at the Grammys. You'll be a winner at the Pammies. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to come back to something in all seriousness. Okay, please. When, and I'm going to try to not get too emotional here because it's creeping. It's creeping up in me. I can hear it. God, you can hear it already? I can hear it in my headphones. <laughs> so okay. close. Well, it makes me sad to hear you say, like, that you used to call yourself stupid for so long. And and I think it makes me sad because I don't know if I called myself stupid, but I've definitely been very hard on myself when I think back on like, just, I think my early 20s, I feel like in particular, I have like so much just regret, regret. And I just wish I could do it over, but I don't want to do it over. I don't want to go be 20 again. I want to, I want to be done. But and I think I also have to like, let it go. I just think that, you know, I was like working in coffee shops and living in Minneapolis. And this is long before, you know, Lou Barlow ever came into my life. But um, I don't know. I just wish those years hadn't been so bumpy for me. So, and I think I blamed myself for them for so long. Like, you just weren't smart enough to, you know, whatever, go to college out after high school. And um, I just think that it's true. There is a time when you have to start looking at that person and stop calling them stupid and or something disparaging and say something loving like it's okay you were doing the best you knew then at the time and you've grown a lot since then yeah i'm not i'm not being facetious when i actually say that it it does all this stuff mean changing the way that i talk to myself has been a huge change i mean and, and it's happened recently i'm 57 years old yeah so you know I'm not joking. It, it can actually really take a while. And I kind of need to be reminded as I go along a lot. And it takes so long to change, yeah. you know, to, to, to mm-hmm. fundamentally change any of your behavior and to really change and find like one day, like, wow, I'm not doing that anymore. It takes years. Like it, and you have to let yourself be slow. And I used to really admonish myself for being slow. Hmm. Because I am, I'm, I'm kind of like yeah. I consider myself a late bloomer. Me too. Yeah, exactly. I've always felt that I would be a late bloomer. Mm-hmm. So when opportunities uh, arose when I was young, I was not really, I wasn't really ready for a lot of it, and I wasn't ready to bloom. 
You know, I mean, I, I, I thrive. There is a part of me that thrives and has always thrived. And it's, you know, it's with my four track and it's with my music, you know, and then, you know, and then, and then clinging on tenaciously to someone who approves of me, you know, and just clinging on to them and holding on to people. And, um, so I've, I've had my moments of, you know, clarity and happiness in there. But, um, yeah, to really just make it like a habit to, to consistently speak positively to myself, Mm -hmm. you know, or just, just kind of chill, you know, not just, you know, take away the microscope, you know, just let things be blurry. I really, you know, I enjoy blurry. I think also for me, one of my things, and I've talked about this before, is kind of reining myself in before I get too carried away, you know, and in the past, that time I was just talking about where I, you know, for most of my life, I have looked at it with such sorrow and regret. Um, I think and now, and, and my depression was really pretty wild then, you know, like it was strong and hard and all encompassing. And, uh, I had really, really hard times. And, and now I, I just recently was having some kind of a wave of depression again. Um, like maybe three or four days ago, I was, I was feeling it creep in again and I was seeing myself, kind of like fiddling with the knob of the haunted house, you know, my mind Mm -hmm. and like deciding whether or not to enter. I was sort of like on the doorstep and, and I realized that my growth is that I was pausing. I was waiting. Mm -hmm. I wasn't just charging right in and diving into the depression and, you know, wrapping it around me like a big sad blanket. Mm. And so I, you know, I was actually able to like turn around and go, not today, not today, Adele. And I think when I tell myself too, like one of the things that I've grown with is stopping and asking myself, what is that place going to give you? Is it going to give you something? And if it is, then yeah, sometimes you have to enter the haunted house and I get it. Listen, that's my life. But like... It wasn't the time, you know, and it wasn't going to give me anything. It was only going to take. And so I am grateful for that growth and that clarity. And it's funny because it does happen slow. That being said, I, it also, um, I'm aware of it now. Like I'm more aware of it. And I do feel like the more you practice working on yourself you do actually kind of get better at it faster. And I don't mean fast and like, I just mean that you do kind of feel yourself able maybe to rein it in a -hmm. little quicker. And I think that that's true also of like our interpersonal kind of relationship, you know, the, like when, if you and I are having a conflict, (laughs) I just wanted to say, I think you and I are able to rein it in a lot faster Mm -hmm. than we used to. Yeah. But when we met, I sort of started advancing pretty quickly. (laughs) There was a real reward reward system in place. (laughs) You know, I started advancing. Hey, (laughs) save it for another show. You two pammy whores. They just call us pammy whores. Pammy whores. There's beauty in brevity. And some (laughs) could say that that's even the secret of the raw impression success. I know that I don't want to hear more than five minutes of Lou's voice. (laughs) Nobody does. It's been proven. Adele. I could listen to you all day long, and I will, (laughs) and I have. 
I guess I'll be coming to you from the Pammies next week. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be seeing a picture of me cradling <laughs> five podcast. <laughs> a bosom full of Pammies. A, bo- a bosom full of Pammies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, to our <laughs> listeners, thank you for letting me touch all the all the all the places today the happy place and the the sad place man wow i was not expecting that me either it's been kind of a roller coaster yeah mm. raw impressions <laughs> <laughs>